Hello everybody, welcome back to Nerdy Game Spotlight. This one is the unprintable magenta. Yeah, quite bright, I would say. Anyway, um, it's an adventure game completed in Adventure Game Studio by Fitz, apparently also by Big Blue Cup. This is where I make a face out of what, and you can't see it because this is in the face cam. But, um, yeah. Anyway, uh, description, meet Magenta. I'm going to say Magenta, it could be Magenta, I'm not sure, I think it's Magenta, whatever. A nighttime crite fighter. A superhero? Well, not quite. More of a subpar hero, as her power is not exactly super. She turns everything she touches pink, and that's it. But she's driven, so she goes out into cold, dark night to punch faces and kick asses in the name of justice. Witness the birth of the Masked Vigilante and follow her journey of self-discovery in astonishing 16K. Yes, you're that right, 16 colors. One of them probably be a magenta. Anyway, let's hit start here. Not exactly hearing anything yet, but... There we go. Found joy and purpose. Indeed. I mean, I'm sitting at my desk getting my eyes and brain broken by computer as I usually do. Next thing I know, I'm flying through the air. Yeah. You might. Okay, fine. Probably you if you blame it on your computer. So, we click to move, we right click to change the purpose of our cursor. <laughs> ah, dry humor. What more could you want, right? Okay. 
Okay. It's gonna be difficult, but clicking with your mouth and listening to the really well, yeah, actually, but seeing is a bit right click. There we go. Now we can uh, look. Okay, we get it, but... Lemon letter O. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> okay. Got that right. Fire, apparently, it's uh, turning everything you touch pink. Yep. Yeah, because I think the touch actually turns useless. Then again, it also died if it was a living thing. I mean, a purple dog could probably still live. Gotta be on the lookout for uh, copyright issues. <laughs> Bomb diggity. Alright, see if this uh Yeah, but Kenta sounds super dangerous.
Okay. I, I didn't notice that, so maybe I'm not as ruined by dinner as I thought I was. enough talking but Yellow Poontang. They're not look Punt. <laughs> yeah, there you go, you earned that one. Okay, so we can do this again. So, or, or was that scripted? Hmm. Well, we're out for 13 minutes, and as far as I know, we're still kind of in the tutorial section. Okay, let's go with another option then. <laughs> okay. So that wasn't the... 
Okay, I'm starting to get it. Sort of. Yeah, the syphilis I almost forgot. Uh, oh, so I can skip these. Off some more. There we go. The electricity on customers. Is this. My nether regions are none of your concern. Okay. Good thing we can skip these. So we battle with our wits, apparently. Uh, I don't do weird stuff, no rimming, no golden showers, no fetish. Jeez, they're really uh, laying it on thick here. The hell is that? Okay. Alright. I get that I really do. It's my prime. If you want a pink hair piece, just ask. <laughs> Herpes. So you're you're a walking S T D commercial. Respect professional, I'm not gonna abandon my post in the face of danger. HIV, syphilis, herpes, and crabs. Um. Scared not that. <laughs> So what else can we... Anyway, um, we're doing this for 20 minutes. I guess it sort of shows what the game is like. It looks like it should be fun if you enjoy weird humor like that. But um, this has been going on for way too long. So I'm going to cut it here. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you're still new in the series. Feel free to show support by commenting, liking, and or subbing if you haven't already. I'll see you guys on the next Indie Game Spotlight. Bye, everyone.